So it's generally, it's generally an error caused by an immature reproductive system. Once the birds become mature, it's very, we rarely see WOs. Or on the other end of it, when a bird gets older and her reproductive system isn't working quite as efficiently, she might shoot two eggs down the track. Are either one better than the other? Uh, are, are younger versus older chickens better? Um, I don't think there's any difference taste-wise. Um, sometimes when birds get older, the, the eggshell quality will change. They might get a little thinner. They might have a rougher texture. If you, if you look at the eggs that are in your boxes, you know, there's different shapes, different sizes. They might have a little different texture to them. You know, it just, it, it does vary from breed to breed and varies with age as well. So, uh, can you crack them open? Okay, so I will walk, I will walk these around. Maybe, Gary, can you walk these around to the tables? Because you know which one went in which one. I know exactly. So, so what you're going to see in these two bowls, he's cracked open a supermarket egg, and he's cracked open one of the eggs from our, from our chickens. And what you'll notice is that the egg yolk <laughs> the egg, I know, he's talking. I, you, I'll let him talk. The egg yolk from the free-range eggs is much darker and more orange. And the reason for that is because forage grass that our birds range on is very high in, in several ingredients. Beta carotene is number one, and that's what causes the increased orange in the yolks. When the birds come indoors in the wintertime, um, it takes a little while for that to work out of their system, but the, the eggs do peel a little bit. And in the winter, I have to supplement them with sprouts, and I, I collect dried grass all through the year so that they have virgin material in the wintertime. But, uh, and that helps to keep keep that up, but it does it does drop a little bit. Yes. <laughs> I was just reading that right now it's a really good time. Maybe it will be a little bit. Can't tilt them too much. We'll have to tilt them. Yeah. Have a I can't get it. Okay. I try. There's a special name for the kind of cheese that you buy at this time. Oh, it's definitely in the organics. It's one of the effects of the way that the eggs taste. Do you know the answer to that question? Why what? Spring cheese from goats, from succulent grasses. I was just reading a magazine article that right now, this time of year, this early springtime, is a great time to buy goat cheese because the goats come out of the barns and go into the wherever and forage, and so they have that grass, and so it makes the cheese taste better. It's very succulent. Is it also the same principle that that's what makes the eggs taste better for chicken? Goats are primarily browsers that you graze, so the quality of what they eat highly influences their milk. Chickens are more grain eaters than grazers. They do graze, but the primary diet is still grains. And this has to do with the revolutionary process. They're, they're a high metabolism animal, most not so much. Birds of all kinds need high proteins to survive. And you know, thousands of years we've been breeding chickens, we bred them up to a point where they need that high protein diet. So without grains, we'd have chickens that would lay 12 eggs a year. They may be the size of partridge. So the grains have high protein? The yes. Thing is, we're, we're feeding an organic uh, layer mash, organic grains, and yam. Um, and that's their primary diet. They do graze as a supplement. And they graze heavily, and they'll let that out. And they, they'll pick up bugs, worms, and all kinds of other stuff, high protein. But along with that, that's on our organic pasture. So there are no chemical that we have put on anyway. Anything that, that's there is just out of the rain. I do notice I do notice a difference in spring eggs in that they tend to be um, when I when I pack my eggs all of our eggs are packed according to the box weight and in the
the springtime, the weight of the boxes are heavier than they are at other times of the year. And I, I, all I can guess is that it has some, the, the exposure to, the, to pasture and fresh pasture, maybe the exposure to nice big fat worms might have something to do with it too. I, I don't know. I just know that the box weights are heavier in the springtime than they are at other times of the year. Okay, chickens, somebody else. Oh, how old are chickens when they start to lay eggs? Depends, Depend, on, the depends on the breed. Oh. Uh, commercial, commercial hybrid layers will start laying at 16 weeks, and in commercial factory chickens, they use them for six months and then they gas them and send them to the landfills. Our chickens, we use a we use primarily what they call a heritage chicken, which are older breeds. They're designed to forage on pasture. They don't start laying until they're generally about six months old. So their systems are much more um, developed and much more mature, much more mature when they actually start laying. And a good healthy chicken will lay 10, 12 years. They can live as old as 14 years. So. They get pretty tough by then, yeah, but I bet that's an amazing soup. <laughs> yeah. Because the, uh, uh, the flavor of chicken is completely affected by the age of the bird. The older it gets, the more flavor it has to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why the best chickens for making soup or broth are old, older hens. They call them stewing hens. And um, that's where you get your best your really best flavor from is from an older bird. How many eggs do you hatch every year to grow chickens? How many eggs do we hatch every year? We do all of our own replacement layers. We have a cabinet incubator that holds about 200 eggs at a time. It just depends on what our egg, uh, on what our needs are during the year as to how many we hatch. Uh, this year we've hatched so far about a hundred chickens um, and we will be hatching some more. We do work with, um, we do a lot of work with, with the public and, and helping people put together backyard flocks. That kind of is sort of developed to be my specialty. It's helping people put together different breeds um, that are suitable for having in their backyards, you know, both as pets and as, as egg layers. So we'll, we have, we carry probably, how many breeds do you think we have here? Eight? Eight, nine, yeah. Eight or nine different breeds. And we generally will hatch at least, at least three or four of those. How many chickens do you have all together approximately on your farm at one time? Like right now? Right now I have about 200 uh, active laying hens. I have uh, about 100 in the brooder that are, half of those are, are cockerels. Uh, I have 200 meat chicks, uh, one on the field, one in the brooder. We have 38 tur heritage turkeys. We raise Narragansetts, which is a rare heritage breed. Um, 20 goslings and 25 ducklings. So we have, at, at, our, at our peak, we usually have about 600 birds on the field at a time. That's a lot of It gets a little crazy at that point. And, <laughs> I, and we always get a little frazzled until we get to that peak mark, and then it starts to drop off as the meat birds go away, and, and then the turkeys go away. <laughs> I can imagine. And then, and then it gets a little, a little calmer. So. That justifies talking to yourself, doesn't it? <laughs> I talk to chickens all the time, you know. Uh, where did you say we can get the eggs? It's Fredonia yeah. Farmer's Market. We're there in downtown Fredonia on the park. You know where the opera house is? We're right on Church Street, right by the park. Every Saturday? Every Saturday. Yeah. Yes, and there's a, there, we are a, uh, we're the only mar farmer's market in western New York that I'm aware of that's year-round market, and in the wintertime we're in the Masonic Lodge up on Route 20. Um,